Oh yes, still looking amazing, look at that. Still looking amazing after four videos because guess what? We're on the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the fellas and those beautiful cheerleaders out there that I call my ladies. The light, you know what? It's shining bright on you because you know what? You're in my presence. Mr. Wonderful's presence, so therefore the light is shining bright on you, but it's even shining brighter on me. I appreciate you for stepping on into the FC Sneaker Factory once again. Because you know what? We are on Sneaker Profiles 165. And thank God because I'm getting tired of this fit. And I can't wait to take it off. But I appreciate you for stepping on in. The doors. Oh, I just opened them up for you. And I appreciate you for stepping on into the FC Sneaker Factory. Because I'm going to deliver you another freaking gem. Yes, we are on the segments of Adidas. Yes, I have touched on four of them so far. And guess what? Number five, it does not skip a damn beat. We just keep going and going when it comes to the beat as the beat goes on. I appreciate you once again for giving me your attention, for tuning in through those YouTube airwaves. I appreciate you for coming on into the FC Sneaker Factory and for viewing Mr. Wonderful in that 4K fashion, as you can see, the LA Kill the Hype cap, this nice crispy white JCP T, this nice Obey flannel, the blue and red hits, and that green. And of course, the G Shock 6900 for the last time when it comes to this fit. The burning red, you do got those gold accents. But let's take a look at the final fit for the last time. Because this fit will not be seen ever again when it comes to the sneaker profiles. But I am wearing the blue Levi denim. I mean, look at that. Looking amazing as always. Just relax. Casual. Because I'm relaxed and casual with you. Because I'm sure you are all definitely representing out there. Whether you're a fella or one of those beautiful ladies that I call my cheerleaders. I appreciate you for looking amazing as always. I know you are doing your thing. Because you know what? Maybe it's we're heading towards the weekend or during the weekday. Who knows it? But guess what? I appreciate you for always looking beautiful and always being as fine as you are. Just like Mr. Wonderful does it on, on every profile, even on all those pickups. Definitely styling and profiling. Just like Ric Flair. So here we go. The last one when it comes to this segment, when it comes to the Adidas segment, and when it comes to the sneaker profiles of 165, because the books are just, I'm just opening them up. And we're going to take a look at this amazing shoe, an amazing collaboration with one of those gifted artists out there. The, the man that is definitely blowing up and doing his thing. Oh, the popularity of this artist has skyrocketed to the moon, right? Almost as wonderful as Mr. Wonderful. But let's take a look at the box first and then we're going to go ahead and go into the shoe. As you can see, the Adidas Bad Bunny right here. This is the Bad Bunny Adidas Forum Low. This shoe came out back on March 17th of 2021. As you can see, Bad Bunny Forum, the first Size 10 and a half because you know what, Mr. Wonderful, that's just how he delivers it. Size 10 and a half. The bad bunny hit on the side. The Adidas and the bunny hit on the back. And then the same bad bunny hit on the on the other side of the box. So this shoe, unfortunately, Mr. Wonderful wasn't privileged enough to get this for retail. But this is one of those shoes, after I kept seeing it over and over like in the pictures prior to coming out, I was like, <laughs> gotta have it. Um, unfortunately, was not able to pick it up though for retail. Had to go to the resale market on this one, ladies and gentlemen. But what's freaking new? But here we go. Let's go ahead and open this box together. I actually already took out one of the shoe that I'm going to present to you. But let's take a look at this one. Oh, and I paid a good amount of money for this one. But we do got multiple tongues on this shoe. Multiple laces. I, I definitely would not put a blue lace or this um, other kind of lace on it. Definitely wouldn't use that. And they also gave us a nice 
crispy dust bag right there as you can see so I have everything just tucked in here this is a shoe that I'm not gonna use the dust bag on definitely and I'm definitely not gonna use any of these laces on because they just I don't I don't I don't get it I don't get why why they would give us those laces but let's take a look at the shoe itself like I said multiple tongues because they are removable when it comes to this specific one but honestly this is my favorite even because I got this like a little bit after the re the release of this of this one right here but even to this date this is still my favorite one out of all of them out of all the colors they have released this is still remains my favorite I just love how that brown hits it just looks amazing so let's take a look at this shoe let's go into all the details on this shoe there's a lot of details going on when it comes to this particular shoe some say too many details some say too many removable objects when it comes to this one but i i say maybe not enough but let's go ahead and look at this shoe let's get a little bit of backstory so this is the adidas bad bunny collaboration the forum buckle low as i previously mentioned this was released back on march 17th of 2021 so this is a couple years old ladies and gentlemen it's been a couple years since this shoe has hit the market so obviously this shoe was inspired by bad bunny he had some say so behind this shoe on what he wanted to add obviously this man is a very enthusiastic when it comes to sneakers and, and his personal collection and his personal love when it comes to sneakers so he says what inspired him to put this shoe together or to basically put the color brown on it was a cup of coffee right i don't drink coffee but if i did i would even love the shoe more but i don't like coffee i don't drink any kind of coffee that's why his face still re stays so amazing and these teeth are still freaking white but let's take a look at the shoe though all right so inspiration was drawn from the cup of coffee but you do have that premium leather that high quality suede that dresses throughout the entire mocha coloring and then also you do have the removable second tongue so you see there's already a third tongue in there i don't know why there's so many tongues but hey that's that's amazing for the price that i paid and then also you do have those lyrics on the strap and it says yo visto así for all those ladies that love mr wonderful speaking spanish yo visto así so what do you think about this one how do you feel about this particular shoe is this a shoe that you have to have in your collection or is this the color or the colorway that you would want when it comes to this specific shoe or do you like any of those other colorways let me know i would like to know that that's why i freaking ask these questions because i care enough to know if i didn't care i wouldn't ask but here we go let's take a look at this shoe now more in depth so you do got this nice suede that goes along around the toe box this nice rubber kind of like a caramel color and then more of that nice suede that goes into here this more of a darker suede when it comes to this one smooth and then this is that brown nice suede leather in between the lines more of that nice suede and then this dark mocha suede right here on this strap i absolutely love this strap a lot of people don't like that but i really like the strap and i like this rim that goes around the the ankle part of the shoe this i don't think this has any any function but this does go in and out this is like a like a lace lock or a rope lock but you do have that nice suede that goes right here more of that nice smooth leather right here i just really enjoy this foam even though it probably serves no purpose on the shoe i just like the look and let's take a look at the medial side so the medial side is different from the lateral side the upper is still the same right you do still have that nice suede those nice leathers those different color brown hits but i love this so you see the the midsole right it's all rubber kind of like a, a like a translucent brown that beautiful stitching when it comes to that but let's take a look at the medial side of this i absolutely love that let's flip these around 
I love that that woven that weave right here. Just a beautiful hit when it comes to that nice caramel color rubber. And then let's take a look at the aerial view for putting this on our foot. So nice leather right here, beautiful suede that goes around the toe box. It continues around the toe box. I love these laces. Definitely the laces that I would leave on if when I'm gonna wear this shoe. I feel like it's kind of like that 3M type material. So very cool on that. I do, like I said, I do love this strap. I just, I don't know why I just like it, but it's just a cool strap. High quality too, this is all metal. And then this is a nice strap. And of course you do got that Bad Bunny eyeball right there. Love that hit. Definitely brings me back to like the Yeezy, uh, the Nike Yeezy days when it came to the two. And then look at that. Let's take a look at that. You do got that nice blue hit when it comes to the Adidas logo in on the second tongue. And then inside, I love it. Inside, you do got that embroidered Adidas and then also embroidered bunny on the insole. Very cool look. Look at that as well. I love that. I guess that's why they threw those blue laces in for those blue hits, but it still just doesn't make sense when it comes to the shoe. But you do have the bunny logo on the inside of that because it is translucent and of course the nice brown and caramel color outsole gorgeous shoe what do you think about this one i mean i'm glad that i picked this one up i don't know what the resale market is on this shoe currently but it's just an amazing shoe i really enjoy this shoe um well I, i'll enjoy it more when i actually put it on foot but there you go yo he visto así right there hit those lyrics when it comes to his song beautiful beautiful shoe don't ask me what that means because i don't speak a lick of spanish but the ladies love it when i talk it i appreciate you for stepping on into the bad bunny adidas forum buckle low what do you think about this one gorgeous shoe i really like this shoe yes it's bulky Yes, it reminds you of the old school skate shoes, but you know what? When I used to wear those skate shoes, I used to rock them to the fullest. And whenever I put this shoe on, oh, you know I'm gonna rock it to the fullest. And you know what? Pretty much like all the time when I do step out and I do have a nice pair of shoes, or even when I don't have a nice pair of shoes, and I'm just, but I, you know Mr. Wonderful, he's always going correct. You know, all eyes on Mr. Wonderful. Just like the Tupac song, I, All Eyes On Me. I appreciate you for coming into the building once again for Sneaker Profiles 165. But guess what? In a couple days, we'll be starting a brand new segment. Brand new shoes. I'll be opening that book up once again. I'll be opening up those factories doors once again to allow you beautiful people into the FC Sneaker Factory behind me. Oh, yes. When it comes to this YouTube genre, when it comes to the sneaker game, I am the freaking lion. This is my playground. Oh, and the sneakers are my prey. And just like how all those beautiful ladies tell me each and every day when I wake up in the morning to one right beside me, she whispers in my ear, well, first I tell her, go brush your teeth, come back, hop into bed. And then she can whisper in my ear and say, Mr. Wonderful, oh, Floyd, you are too damn 